Welcome back to the prototype. This is video number two. Two. All right. So you ready for this topic? I don't know. Are we ready for it? All right. So I'm about to give it to you. When is it okay to cheat? I mean, I have five reasons. <clears throat> five my hand up my mouth. sound reasons when it is okay to cheat. And I'm about to give them to you. Okay. The first one is being emotionally detached. Have you ever dated someone or been in a relationship with someone where you just be like, uh, I don't really like you like that. I just, like, I think you're a cool person. I think you're a really, really good person. But I'm, I'm not feeling you, but I kind of feel bad for you. So I'll stay, but... I'll have fun on the other end, okay? And emotionally detached. That's reason number one to cheat, okay? Reason number two, the intimacy, the intimacy is whack. Once again, you're a great person, and um, I love your family, and um, but you. You're not great at that. You're great at other things, but you're not great at that. I do appreciate the lunch and the oh, bags wow. and you paying the bills and everything. Wow. And so until I get to a point where I've stacked up enough, then I'll probably leave. But for now, I'm going to have somebody on the side until I get everything together. Okay, so that's reason number two. Intimacy is a wag. Okay. Let me give you reason number three. They cheated on you. Why not retaliate? That is like the what? Your mom told you when you were little or whoever raised you, if they hit you, retaliate, hit them back. Don't come back saying that they hit you and you didn't do anything. You got to retaliate. You just can't let somebody do whatever they want to do. You have to show them who's the boss. Okay. You have the bigger kahunas. So you retaliate. Let them know who's the boss. They may have cheated, but there's a different level to this. And you have to show them that level. Okay. So you have to retaliate because they cheated on you. So Big just face. do it. Do it to them. Let them see how it feels. Right. Uh, that was number three. Vindication, yes. So that's number three. <laughs> number four, you got commitment issues, <laughs> trust issues. Listen, everybody loves Drake, everybody loves trust issues. Pretty dope song. I used to play it a lot. So, you know, you're trying to commit, but they really haven't done anything to show you. That, okay, I can't commit to you, but I'm going to ride this wave Let's make my head and have something else on the side, too. And so I'm just saying, have your cake and eat it, too, right? You're not ready to commit just yet, but what's the, what's the harm in having two things at once? Okay, that's number four. Number five, it turns out. That they don't have the money that they said they do. They really broke. And their credit score is really, really terrible. There's no digits on their credit report. It's just, just that bad. But however, you were tricked. So I get it. You thought they were balling. They were kind of help each other out and everything. But they're really broke. Uh, you kind of feel bad for them. You, know, you don't want to really kick them out. Or whatever, kind of want them to get themselves together, give them out three to six months to get it together. But in the meantime, while they're getting their life together, you can get your life somewhere else. So, I mean, I get it, right? So, those are your five reasons when it's okay to cheat, being emotionally detached, the intimacy is whack, they were cheating on you first, so you have to retaliate, you can't commit, you got trust issues. And the last one is, they turned out to be broke. 
So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> First and foremost, it's never okay to cheat. Uh, what she just gave you were the top five reasons why people cheat. Uh, by all means, we are not telling you it's okay. At all. Because it's not okay. I don't co-sign none of this foolishness. It's not okay. I've heard people say this crazy stuff. It's just easier to leave. Mm -hmm. Nobody nobody has time for this. You you emotionally detached? Really? I mean, why are you here? What why are you wasting my time? If you want to gallivant and sow your royal oats, <laughs> then go do that. But don't sit here and waste my time because you feel like playing. That's that's not okay. I don't ever, never, ever, never will never have condone cheating tell the person what the issue is if it does not work out you have the right to leave nobody's holding you hostage you can go but if you decide to keep somebody on a whim that's that's selfish it's really really selfish it's never and it's not okay to ever cheat understood a uh, commitment between two people should never be broken. A marriage should never be broken. Um, you, the two become one. So what she do, I do. Right. We do it together. It's not no cheating. It's unacceptable. If you ever feel that you need to cheat, that you are your attention is going somewhere else, then you need to have a conversation with your significant other and let him or her know what you need and what you are lacking in a relationship. You cannot, 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 cannot entertain any other person, any other ideas. No. That it opens one, the door. That opens the door for everything. <laughs> any and everything. It's unfair to put that hurt, that burden Absolutely. on your partner. Uh, it's just unfair. It's just unfair. It, it's just, I, there's no scenario when it's okay to cheat, when it's okay to step outside of your marriage um, or even a partnership. You might not be married yet. You might be promising yourself to someone with the intentions of that later on, uh, you guys are gonna get married. Uh, it may be the dating stage, the courting stage. But communication has to be there. The grounds have to be set, even on that uh, aspect of level. If you're just meeting somebody, I'm not expecting you to say, hey, you know what? You're the only person I'm dating or talking to. But a conversation needs to be had. Uh, what are you doing? Are we openly dating? Or I mean, I just I just met you today. I'm not expecting you to commit your life to me. Right. Uh, but a conversation that. needs to be had nonetheless. Uh, what are your intentions? What are your plans? What are you trying to do? And that way you give me a, a, a open and honest version of yourself. And I can then make the decision on how I want to react and right. what, what route I want to go with you. Or if I want to go that route, if I don't want to go that route at all, but still it needs to be communicated. And again, those five reasons she gave were... It was foolery. It was foolery. It, it, it's, foolery. It's foolery. Um, I could never look at uh, my partner and say any of these things um, because if any of those things, which they aren't, but if any of those things were happening in our relationship, there would be a conversation. Um, so in short, let us tell you how you handle it. We're going to give you three easy steps. The ultimate question, the number one question is, do you know what you want? There are a lot of people who end up in relationships that, for one, hasn't, haven't taken out the time to know who they are and what they want. When you get into a relationship with someone, they may do something and you be like, wait, I don't like that. But you never gave yourself time enough to realize, OK, I, I didn't know I didn't want that. So you're, if you're still trying to figure it out, you need some alone time. So I'm a long time with Jesus <laughs> to figure out what you want. You will string so many people along if you don't know what you want and you'll make yourself crazy because you'll, you'll play victim like, oh, it's, it's them. No, nope. it's you. It's you. And the 
the first one of the one of the main problems in any relationship is people jump too quick to conclusions. They jump too quick. I'm gonna keep it real with you. They jump too quick to do things they shouldn't be doing. We'll say having sex. Um, if I meet you tonight and I have sex with you that night or tomorrow or that week, you're, you're jumping the gun. You don't even know if you like this person. Sometimes you don't even know their last name. You don't know if they stay with their mama, their daddy, their cousin. They yeah, living out. Th- they living out their car. If they're a criminal. Uh, you don't know. You don't. We we jump to. Oh well, I'm gonna do this and that, and maybe it'll lead to this. We we jump too quick to the next step, and we're not even there. Let walk it out. Take it step by step. Uh, it's a race, but it's a marathon. Uh, you don't you don't want to sprint through life. You want to jog. What's the the story? The tur- the the tortoise and the hare. Yeah. Um, you know, you want to take your time and. Get to Check the out the result. scenery. Yeah, you know, see what's going on along the way. You may see a red flag um, that you yeah. do, that you that means run that you don't like, or you may see something that you know. Hey, I, I like that. I want to get to know more about that or that person. But when you uh, skip steps <laughs> one through five, and they say you know you on ten, there's a problem, and that's where these issues lie. So, do you know what you want? Do you know what? Do you know who you are? Do you know what you are uh, what you are bringing to the table? What can you offer in this relationship or the situation? Uh-huh. It, it cannot always be well. He or she ain't got it together. What do you have? What are you bringing to the situation? What do you have to offer? Um, are you still working on yourself? Should you even be engaging in this uh, type of relationship or uh, courtship or getting I to even know somebody? Be dating? Period. Yeah, because a lot of times people don't don't need to date. You just need to be by yourself. It is okay. Mm-hmm. Here's the issue: people think it's not okay to be by yourself. I enjoyed my single life. I lived it up. It probably would have been lived up a lot more, but I had fun. I <laughs> Being I took myself to the movies. I took myself out to eat. I took myself on shopping sprees. I took random trips on the weekend. Listen, if you can't do it by yourself, how is somebody else going to do it with you? And if you don't like you, how you expect me to like you? You don't even like you. And you can't even get mad at me for not liking you because you don't even know who you are. And you haven't even gotten to a point where you like you and then get to the next point of loving you. So it's oxymoronic to want somebody to like you or love you when you don't like yourself. That's crazy. Or love yourself or even know how to love yourself or love somebody else. Right. Um, What have you experienced as far as love in your, your life? What are you using as the relationship or the prototype um, to to get you there? What are you seeing as far as your family members, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your mother, your father, uh, people in your church, your pastor, uh, couples around you? What are you modeling that relationship like? Are you, you know, just throw stuff against the wall and hope it sticks? Are you seeing things that you like and you want to incorporate in your life? You know, hey, I see that this couple, they do X, Y, Z. You know, one day I would like to do that. Talk to that couple. Ask you know, questions. Ask questions. Uh, majority of the couples will couples will tell you and be honest with you. It is not easy being married. It is not easy being in a relationship. It's not easy staying with somebody. Uh, but through work, through talking, through co- communication, is key. You can work it out. Um, again. I'm blessed uh, to have married one of my best friends. Um, we have fun. One day you guys might see the bloopers of some of the things we <laughs> we say or do behind the scenes. Um, she is so funny. I just want to say that. Just hilarious. If anybody knows it, funny. It's not me. Funny. Um, but you need to be able to have fun in your relationship. It, it can't always be serious, um, but it, there are times where you need to be serious. But right. you, have, you have to have a balance. You have to be able to balance the burdens of the world, the things that you guys go through. Um, but you also need to know that when it comes down to it, you have each other's back. Yeah. So with those things, talking, working it out, you won't be uh, more enticed or trying to cheat or entertaining the idea of something or letting somebody, oh, well, you know, they smiled at me every day or they noticed that I did my hair a certain way or that I got a haircut or I did this or that. If you are giving those things to your significant other, then nobody else can. Exactly. Won't. Well, there's no room 
or no desire for them to step outside of their marriage. Yeah, it's, it's communication is key. We're going to keep saying this. You're going to hear this over and over. Communication is key. It's key. But if you have an issue in your relationship or your marriage, you need to tell them. Hello, tell them. I don't like ketchup. Tell them that. Don't yell at them if they put it on your plate. They didn't know you didn't like it. It doesn't make sense. It is not okay to hold somebody accountable to something that they didn't know about. True. That's that's not okay. And speaking from experience, I used to be a person that would hold stuff in. And it could be something so small as my comb dropping on the floor. And all of a sudden, I am a whirlwind of going off on stuff that happened months ago, days ago, weeks ago, years I don't think I was that bad. I don't know. But it's not okay to black out on somebody. That's crazy. You have to open your mouth and say something. Even if you have to process it for a second. Process it in your mind. Play it how, you know, in your mind and and say it how in a polite way. Don't just go off. Just say, hey, I don't like when you do this. Or I'd appreciate it if you would do more of this. Now, there's a difference between telling somebody there's an issue and you guys trying to work at it versus telling somebody an issue, the issue, and they just choose to do whatever they want. They'll fix it for like a week or two. And then after that, they're back to their old habits. That's somebody that don't care. And you wasting your time telling them over and over again. I told you three years ago, I didn't like this and you're still doing it. That becomes a cycle. Yeah. That person doesn't care. They get what they can get from you and it's convenient for them. They'll play you like a fiddle because all they have to do is say, well, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to fix it. And next thing you know, it's five years later and you're still in the same situation. It's ridiculous. The key is to listen, but hear what uh, the other person is saying in the relationship. If I listen but don't hear what uh, Sharon is communicating to me, we have issues. Mm -hmm. um, if I communicate my expectations, my needs, and vice versa, we now have a plan where we can work the situation out. And you also have to give the person a fair chance to work that situation out. Yes. You can't just have an issue and not tell me about it and expect me to fix it. I'm not a mind reader. I process information differently. Uh, I need to know what it is, and I need to figure out a way to how to get the proper solution that'll work for both of us. Yeah. I deserve, she deserves, the significant other deserves the opportunity to be able to fix what the issue is. It's unfair to, again, I'll, I'll say this and I'll keep on saying it, to put uncommunicated and unrealistic expectations on your spouse or your significant other. It's just not fair. We all deserve a right to right our wrong. Everybody deserves a second chance. So I'm not saying that, oh, if this person cheated, uh, that's maybe the end all be all. Um, you know, we'll talk about that in another video, maybe deal breakers. <laughs> yeah. Coming. Coming soon. Coming soon. But um, everybody deserves a second chance. But you need to know what you want, what you are bringing to the relationship, communicate that to the other person. And if cheating does occur, um, and then again, there are so many different levels of cheating. She gave the top five reasons why people cheat, but cheating can be uh, is as simple as um, having a conversation, flirting at work, um, just different things that you do. But you deserve the right to be able to right that wrong and come up with a plan. Talk about what the issue was, how it may have affected you or offended you and come up with a plan to work it out um, if that's what you desire to do. If you want to be in a relationship, then you owe it to yourself and that person to work it out. If you do not want to be in a relationship, leave. Simple as that. Adios. Here, point blank. It's, it's no reason to uh, waste your time or somebody else's time and potentially blocking them from the person that they are truly supposed to be with. So I'm going to say this. Stop playing games with people. That is not OK. People feelings get hurt. Fatal attractions happen. Mental health is serious. Be honest up front if you're dating and say, this is what I want. This is my goal. 
if you're not available for this, then we we need to cut ties right here. But don't hold on to somebody because you're selfish. That is ridiculous. That is holding them hostage. That let that person go. If you're not gonna do right by somebody, leave them alone. They may be created or waiting, somebody else is waiting for them, but you holding them up because you wanna be selfish. That is not okay. Be upfront and honest from the beginning about what you want, expectation, how it's supposed to play out and what your plan is. And we understand not everybody wants to be married. That's not a goal for some people. True. And if that's not your goal, you need to say that because there are a lot more people that actually do want to be married, but you're holding them up. Don't do that. That's very inconsiderate. So it is never okay to cheat. Never. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. 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 Whether you're dating, whether you're in a serious relationship, engaged, or married, it is never okay to cheat. Be adults and talk this mess out. If you don't want to talk it out, then leave. You know what? I just thought about it. There is one scenario when it's okay to cheat. If you're having a dwelling moment, if you cheat on your girl <laughs> with your girl. So you may need something different in your relationship. Communicate that to your significant other. You know, um, you know, role playing. Basically is what Doyle is. Doyle, that's what he's saying. If you guys don't heard, haven't heard that song, listen up. Doyle, cheating on my girl with my girl. It's a great song. Um, but that's the only scenario where it's okay to cheat. I'm cheating on her with her. Think but about technically, it. it's, it's not. Deep. If you think about it, watch the video, give you some re revelation. But it is a dope song. I really like that song. But so that's what I'm saying. So switch it up. That's the only scenario when it's okay to cheat. If if you watch the video, you, it'll under, you'll understand it. But Dwelle, cheating on my girl with my girl, meaning we're doing something different with ourselves. So right. if I'm tired of her, then I'm going to be tired of her with her. Right. That so makes sense. basically, you can be the girlfriend and the wife. <laughs> she my girlfriend. So, yeah, we don't do side chicks. Mm -mm. We don't support that. Mm -mm. We don't do that mm -mm. over here. So we hope that this video was informative and enlightening that it is never okay to cheat. Never okay to cheat. If you have any topics, comments, concerns, whatever the case is, send it all to wisdom by 30 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. We will respond to you and let you know that we got your email. If you're gonna be on the next video or whatever the case is, but we do want you to subscribe to the channel subscribe. so you won't miss a video. We're trying to do videos every other week so we enjoy doing we we enjoy doing this yeah, and fun. so we enjoy being the prototype so if you have any questions or anything once again send them all to wisdom by 30 at gmail.com so that concludes video two i got a question what you doing after this girl <sighs> you know good day y'all <laughs>